and I will select on CV. Now we will see either the two fonts are applied or not. Yes, here you can see this is the first font, this is second font. Okay, so here. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Mamad Ali Raza and welcome to my YouTube channel Marketing Temple. Today I am going to discuss with you that how to add custom fonts in Clavio. Okay, so agenda. Uh, first one is how to add single font and second one is how to add multiple fonts. So I will also discuss many other things that are necessary for the custom fonts. Okay, so stay connected. So now uh, go back to the Clavio. So as I have opened my Clavio, okay, so uh, you can see on my screen. So then I will uh, click on the campaign because uh, I wanted to import, I wanted to add custom fonts in campaign. So I have select campaign and then I will click on create campaign and I will select email, create campaign. And then uh, I will give it name practice and marketing chamber my channel name so i am doing marketing alongside so then i will select a list just for formality click on continue to content and then uh, we will select drag and drop i am not touching subject line and preview text because our objective is to uh, check the new fonts so i click on drag and drop and I will select uh, a template in which we will test our the new fonts. So I am selecting this font. I see unicycle. Okay, it is the template name. So uh, then let's start our work properly. Okay, so first case is how to add single font. So then you have to go to Google Fonts. Okay, so I click on it and go Google fonts so here uh, are many fonts that you could uh, go through and uh, select your loving font so I uh, I am going to add this font Ephesus okay so then uh, what to do is you have to select this style this is the option you have to click on it select this style then this screen will appear on your uh, right of the screen but if it is not appeared in your uh, case then after uh, clicking on this option you have to select on this option then you will see this screen also so but uh, before uh, going forward uh, let me show you the snippet code for the single font okay so i will also give you the snippet code uh, for single font and for multiple font in the description also so this is the snippet code look here we need two things uh, to make it complete First one is the URL of the font and next one is the name of the font. So how to get the URL of the font, you have to select this option, add import and then uh, this is the URL. Okay, so then you have to select from HTTP to uh, swap, control C and I will go to the snippet code and I will read the URL that was already placed and I will uh, press control V. So the URL is placed. So next one is uh, what is the name of the uh, font? So it is the name of the font. Okay, you can also get it from the URL. So I select this font name control C and I will place it here control V. Okay, so our snippet code is uh, complete. Now I will select it control C and I will go back to the Clavio. Know what to do in Clavio. You have to delete this block and uh, I will add a text block at the top and I will delete the text of it and I will click on source file okay so here I will uh, press ctrl V to paste the copied snippet okay so the snippet code I have pasted I click on save now we will check that either the font is added or not so yes successfully uh, our new font FS is, is applied all over the template but here if uh, anyone want that I don't need to add this font over this paragraph then how we can exclude this paragraph for new font so then you have to go to this blog where you have imported your 
snippet code i will click on uh, say source and then here you can see that the font is applied all these options either they are paragraphs headings ol li and ul so if i want to remove if i want to exclude paragraph from uh, this font then i will remove p from here and i will click on save and then we see yes the paragraph is uh, new font free okay so paragraph is no free of the new font okay so now uh, let's go for the uh, two or three or more custom fonts okay so the case i have discussed was the for single font no we will discuss more custom fonts so again i will click on drag and drop okay so then uh, we will select again uh, the same template i see unicycle and uh, let me close it because i want to show you uh, the process from uh, scratch so here is the template and here is the uh, font so now we again uh, we have to go to the google fonts okay click on it now the first thing for the multiple uh, custom fonts you have to select the fonts that you want to import either these are two three or four or whatever the number is so i am uh, going to select uh, first one yes oswald so this is the first font that i want you to uh, import so i am going to select this style okay no you uh, remember here you don't need to touch it at this at this uh, time so i am cross, uh, closing it so i am going back to and i will select another font that i want to import in uh, clavio okay so i am selecting this explorer first was oswald and this this is explorer okay so i select this style so if i want to import two styles i have selected uh, these two fonts so then the process is same i will go to this option okay then i will select this option but remember the snippet code for the multiple fonts is different okay so this is the snippet code i will give you the snippet code for single and multiple font in the description okay so here again we need url and the font names okay so uh, how to get the uh, url same as the previous case so i will uh, select control c i will go back to the snippet and here i will remove the url that was already present okay so then i will press control v the url is placed now we have to enter the names of fonts name of the two fonts that we are going to add okay so first one uh, is first one was oswald so i will uh, copy it from here and i will place it here control v okay so next one uh, is explorer control c and i will paste it here okay now the snippet is done i will select it control c i will go back to the clavio same process i will delete it and i will add text block at the top and i will remove the text i will click on source and i will control v and press the copied snippet here and i will select on cv now we will see either the two fonts are applied or not yes here you can see this is the first font this is second font okay so here you can see the two fonts are applied no uh, if we uh, want some changing that uh, i want that this font should be applied here or this font should be applied here then how we can uh, do it so again we have to go this block and again we have to go to this source and here you can change that if i want uh, to uh, use this font for headings and this font for this one you can place it to here and you can uh, place it to here okay so you can replace uh, both of them for example if i want uh, that h2 uh, i want to apply this font oswald for h2 so i remove h2 from here 
and I will write H2 here and comma and I will click on save. So you can see headings was uh, for this font okay this font for headings but here you can see the heading is not uh, for this case okay so in this way uh, you can uh, change the settings in the source file that uh, you want uh, according to your demand okay so this was the objective of this video that how we can add single or multiple fonts but remember here i want to show you the uh, Precaution that is uh, recommended that is given by Clavio. The fonts already present in Clavio are supportable on most of devices. So it is saying that the fonts that are available to you in Clavio, these uh, fonts are uh, mostly supportable on all the devices. But it is not recommendable to use more fonts in Clavio because maybe the device on which you send email don't support that part means if you want if you want to add your loving font in Clavio, there may be possibility the device on which your email will be opened that device maybe could not support that font or your loving font okay so uh, it is not recommendable but if you uh, want to have grip over this you can uh, uh, test these and practice these steps that I have done before you. So if you find some good things from this video and if you don't have subscribed my channel up till now, so kindly do subscribe, stay tuned and stay happy. Thank you.